hi there, students. To hunker, to hunker down, really. Okay, um, to hunker down is a phrasal verb. Um, let's see, to hunker means to squat down, to sit on your heels, to, to go down. But we usually nearly always use it with to hunker down, to crouch close to the ground. Um, okay, as a phrasal verb, we use to hunker down in various different ways. F um, firstly, okay, he hunkered down next to the fire. We all hunkered down and, and warmed our hands. And then we can use this metaphorically to seek shelter, to seek refuge in a place. <coughs> so the rain started coming down really strongly and we hunkered down in uh, a, a ruined building until the rain stopped. Um, we're going to have to find a place to hunker down until the storm gets over. Yeah, the criminal was hunkered down somewhere in the woods. Okay, um, I hunkered down at home until the uh, blizzard stopped. Then we can also use to hunker down to mean to work, to begin working on something in a determined way, to get down to. So he hunkered down, intransitive. He hunkered down to doing his work. I think also probably he hunkered down to do his work. Okay, um, so to begin to do it t in a determined way. If I don't hunker down to this project, I'm not going to finish it on time. If I don't hunker down to this, um, I'm going to miss my deadline. Yeah, you better get hunker down to your stu your studies or you're going to fail your exam. Yeah, you need to get down to studying. Yeah, hunker down to studying for a bit. And then finally, we can use this to hunker down, meaning to um, maintain something that you believe stubbornly, to refuse to change your opinion. So even though everybody gave him clear um, evidence why this was wrong. He had hunkered down and had refused to uh, mm, accept what people were saying. It's like this, a metaphorical idea of this taking refuge in a place. Yeah, um, I hunkered down in a cave until the storm passed. He hunkered down and refused to look at the evidence. Okay, notice, to hunker down to doing something to hunker down in a place, in a cave, in um, a safe location. And then to hunker down, just to squat down. Um, come on guys, hunker down and we'll, we'll talk about this. So we all squatted down, yeah? Um, mm, he hunkered down and just watched the people go by. Okay, um, so yeah, when you do these squat thrusts, you need to hunker down and then get up off your uh, off your um, uh, ankles. Okay, to hunker down to take refuge, we are going to need to hunker down uh, in the pub until this rainstorm passes. Okay, to hold a position without r refusing to, ja to change. Um, yeah, he hunkered down and refused to admit his mistakes. And then to apply yourself, self, to start working seriously. You need to hunker down and study if you really want to pass your exam. Okay, so four different meanings. To sit on your heels, which could just be to hunker, but nearly always hunker down. To uh, apply yourself to uh, work hard, work seriously. To um, take shelter, yeah, or to refuse to change your position. Okay, so hunker down. Yeah, you need to hunker down to this task. 
yeah he hunkered down beside the child and uh, told her not to worry okay so to hunker down let's see i think this this phrasal verb to hunker down is m more american than british but you can use it in british english without um without problems now Tran um, transitive or intransitive, separable or inseparable. So to hunker down, intransitive, no object. He hunkered down uh, beside me, but okay. Uh, he hunkered down to it. Okay, so uh, hunkered down to, hunkered down. He hunkered down in the cave. He hunkered down in it, inseparable. But then that's because you've got two particles. Okay, so next question, formality. Um, I think this is probably slightly informal. I'm going to give it a 4.5 in formality. Um, use it in an informal conversation, just about in a semi-formal writing, um, but no, but no more, more formal than that. Um, yeah, as a, uh, and hunker, to, he hunkered down, he has hunkered down in a safe place. And then as to origin, well, it's probably got a Germanic origin. Um, maybe it comes from an old Norse word, hooker, to crouch, which comes from Proto-Germanic, who can, to squat. And there we go. Okay, so uh, why don't you spend the rest of the afternoon hunkered down, uh, watching my videos enough if you enjoyed the video give it a rating subscribe to my channel and i'll see you soon bye for now to hunker down